Hello, this is Professor Abiswai. Today we will talk about factoring binomials. So let's go over a certain standard formulas so that you have them down. So you can stop actually the um, slides and kind of go over them. Let's start by what's a binomial. A binomial is a polynomial with two terms. Terms are separated by either a plus or a minus. Here's a binomial per se. There are two things in there. And here's another two things. And this one counts as two things, okay? This is one thing, and this is the second thing. And these things that I call things are terms. Binomials. So, let's go for certain standard ones. Okay. One binomial will look like this. It's the sum of two squares, and when you want to factor them, you can't. They are prime. Leave them alone. The second binomial is the difference of two squares. Yes, you can factor those. A plus B, A minus B. And the third one you need to know is the sum of two cubes. And you can factor those. And difference of two cubes, you can factor those. So you have to memorize those four binomials, and you'll be okay in the beginning algebra level class. Let's start with the first one, sum of two squares. So if you have a term squared plus another term squared that's prime, leave it alone. They may be looking a little bit disguised, but you have to kind of uh, read between the lines and figure them out. Some of them are very obvious, something like x squared plus y squared. And if somebody says factor them, leave them alone. They're prime. All right? You can just think about it as putting it in here, x squared plus y squared. So... Whatever it is inside, you just do it alone. Okay, let's do one that's a little bit disguised. For example, if we are talking about, I'll go backwards in there, uh, something like 4x squared plus 9y squared. So that doesn't look that easy, but guess what? I can write 4x squared as 2x quantity squared plus 3y quantity squared. Guess what? That's also prime. So when you see something like this, you can write prime. So I think sum of two squares is prime. Leave it alone. Do not factor them. Okay, how about difference of two squares? They may look very obvious to you or they may be hidden. So let's do one. How about x squared minus y squared? Okay, this looks like a square so you can put an x here. And you can put a y here. And this is how it works. The first plus second. And then first minus the second. So let's write it down. x plus y times x minus y. Okay? So that's the difference of two squares. They may be a little bit disguise. So let's work with one that is disguise. So let's do uh, something a little harder. 16x squared minus 81y squared. Well, the first thing you need to do is write this as entity squared. So 16 is a square of 4, and x squared is a square of x. So it is 4x, the whole thing squared, will give you 16 squared square, x squared, 81 is 9, 9y squared, and guess what, you can write it as first plus last times first minus last, so that is going to be 4x plus 9y times 4x minus 9y, so let's write this nicely, 4x plus 9y times 4x minus 9y. So you guys can actually fold this back and see actually if the middle terms disappear. Watch. If you fold this back, you'll get 16x squared. You're going to get minus 36xy. Then you're going to get plus 36xy. And last one, nine, minus 81y squared. Now, what's important is these two go away and you end up with the first and last term with a minus in the middle. So that's why they factor out the way that they do. Okay.
Okay, so let's start doing the cubes. We are talking about sum of two cubes. They may be all open up, easy to figure out, and they may be a little harder. So let's do a few of these guys. Um, so I'm going to do the first one. Let's say x cubed plus y cubed. The way that factors out is whatever that plus is, it's going to go the same. That plus is going to be a plus. So it's going to match. But this one is going to be the opposite of what you put in here. So that is the only thing that you have to figure out. The first one is going to match. This second one is not going to. And everything else will be plus. So let's look at it. This one is supposed to be the first plus last. Then you're supposed to square the first, which becomes x squared minus first and last, which is x times y, plus the last one squared. And you have to put parentheses around it. So this is it. So this one does not have no 2 in there. Okay, remember? So sometimes when you um, foil binomials, you will get a 2 in there. So this formula, this particular formula, is not going to have a 2. So pay attention to that. So let's do one that's a little harder. Okay, let's assume I have something like this. 64x cubed plus 27y cubed. So this one is not that obvious. Can I write 64 as a cube of something? And can I write x as a cube of something? I know that x cubed is a cube of x. 64 is a cube of 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. So it is the cube of 4. Now, can I write 27 as a cube of something? You have to know some of those things by heart. 27 is 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. Yes, I can. Okay? Now that you figured them out, the way it works, you're going to put first plus last. First is 4x, last is 3y. And guess what? What is the sign in the middle? Remember, the sign in the middle is supposed to match this one, so it is going to be plus. So let's move on. Now you're going to have the first one squared. So first one squared, this is the first one you're looking at. 4x squared is squared 4, which is 16, square x, which is x squared. Then, remember what I said, this is supposed to be opposite of that plus. So do you see that? So that's going to be a minus. Then what do you have? A times B. So you need to multiply 4 and 3, which is 12, and you need to multiply X and Y, which is XY, plus B squared, which is 3 squared and Y squared, which is 9Y squared. Okay? Very good. And guess what? This portion is prime. It doesn't go anymore. So you stop right here. How about we do one with a negative? Um, let's do um, 27x cubed minus z cubed. Okay? Let's do that. So I need to first write, what is 27x cubed with cube of? I know 27 is a cube of 3, so you can write this as 3x cubed. And z cubed is the cube of z. So this is what you got. Okay, now remember how the signs work. The signs work, you're going to take the first and last, write it here, 3x and z. And these two are supposed to match. So minus, minus. Now this is what you have. You're supposed to square the first. When you square 3x, you'll get 9x squared. And remember, the second sign is going to be opposite of that, so this minus becomes plus. You're supposed to multiply this and that, so that gives you 3xz. And the last one is always plus z squared. Does it make sense? All right. And you leave it alone. There's nothing else you can do here. Okay, let's do a last one. Let's make it kind of hard. 
I don't know, 9x squared. <clears throat> Let's do this, xy. 9x cubed y cubed minus, just for fun, um, let's do it 81 z cube. Okay? Let's look at that. A minus B. Now I need to write this guy. Um, let's change this 9 to something else. This 9 is, gonna, is not going to work. Let's do it uh, 8. Okay, 8x cubed y cubed minus 81z cubed. What is 8 cubed of? 8 is the cube of 2. Remember, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. So it's a cube of 2. And x cubed is a cube of x. And y cubed is a cube of y cubed. Do you see that? Then 81 is a cube of, let's think, is that a cube of anything? Um, this is not going to work. This is not going to work either. So let's change this to 27. I'm trying to make it very easy for you guys and make it harder. Okay, so let's change this to 27. And 27 is a cube of 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Times 3 is 27. So it's a cube of 3. Okay, so this is what you got. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So, how do I do this? I'm supposed to take the first one, which is 2xy, and I'm supposed to take the last one, which is 3z, and there is a minus in the middle. Now what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to take the first one and square it. So that's going to give you 4x squared, y squared. And I'm supposed to put a plus, this is supposed to be the opposite of that, and multiply all this out. So when I apply, uh, multiply all this out, I'll, go, I'll get 6. I have an x and a y and a z. Okay, don't be afraid of it. Plus 3z squared, which is 9z squared. Okay, so the question was, let me write this nicely. The question was 8x cubed y cubed minus 27z cubed. What did we do? We wrote it as the difference of two cubes, and then apply the formula and factor it out. So this actually ends the portion with dealing with binomials and binomial factoring.